still considering the topic of love, loving the way Jesus loves, looking at 1 Corinthians 13, we look at another passage in this text. That one way of expressing the love of Jesus is that love bears all things. The Apostle Paul was put in prison for preaching the gospel. Paul started the love chapter by declaring that we are nothing without love. Then in verses 4 through 6, he listed some of the things that love does and does not do. In verse 7, he tells what love is willing to suffer. First, he says, love bears all things. Bear has several different ways to translate. One way to translate the word bear is to cover up or to keep hidden. As in keeping something covered up or confidential that might hurt somebody. Peter expressed a similar idea when he wrote, Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Another definition for to bear is its various ways to protect others. It's to protect. It's to look out for the best interest of others. And there are many ways we protect others. To bear is also to support in the sense of carrying a heavy load. Love supports other people in times of trouble. Jesus, it is said by Isaiah, has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. To bear is suffering patiently all the troubles that come from dealing with other people, including people who try to harm you. This one's probably the most difficult. It's hard when you know someone is deliberately trying to hurt you, especially when it's done in such a way that the other person doesn't even look guilty, but they make you look bad. This is tough, but this is love. And love is willing to bear all things for the sake of the gospel. 1 Corinthians 13, 7 says, Love endures all things. And so, bearing all things relates to annoyances and troubles. Enduring all things relates to suffering and persecutions. Endurance is a military term. It means to stand fast against the assault of an enemy. Paul wrote the Corinthians about his own experience in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labor, sleepless nights, hunger. He detailed all this to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians 6, 4, and 5. He went through a lot. He told that he was able to endure by the Holy Spirit and by genuine love. And the only way that we'll make it is if we do have the love of Christ in our life. Jesus gave the ultimate example going to, by growing to the cross. The cross is a better gauge of endure, actually giving one's life out of love. Peter wrote that Jesus committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Jesus suffered pain. He suffered the shame of the cross because he loves us and wants us to have his eternal heaven. We should respond in loving gratitude. Loving other people, the way Jesus did, is hard. But loving other people is, becomes a spiritual discipline. We love others because Jesus loved us. It pleases Jesus when we love others. It's a spiritual discipline, a mark of maturity, and we mature as we choose to love others, regardless of the circumstances. True love is able to bear many hardships and endure many sufferings for the love of Jesus. We do it for Jesus, not for them. We face some tough times. It's a crazy world we live in. But when we keep trusting in Jesus and His strength, He will show us the way. Love is the better path. Jesus, my Lord, will love me forever. From Him no power.